Alrighty. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ripper Ann, and thank you for being here. We're doing a quick video on the build that I used um, to beat the level 70 capstone dungeon. Uh, I'm going to be kind of going over everything. Uh, we're going to do... It's going to be quick, actually. It's going to be quick. We're gonna go, I'm going to go over a couple of the key uh, aspects, the, my gear, um, and then uh, I'll provide a link for my my skill tree because I may I had one specific for that fight um, not what I would normally use uh, day to day running around right so <clears throat> kind of where this really comes into play is this uh, sacred unique dagger condemnation um, got this out of uh, champions demise dungeon actually um, and uh, yeah, just with this this aspect itself, the core, core skills, right, deal 38% increased damage when you spend combo points, right? So this, this ends up changing how you kind of, at least how I was playing, um, thirst or twisting blades, right? Um, you know, the general cookie cutter twisting blades, right, where you're, you run uh, inner sight and uh, you just spam it, right? Now, now I, you know, you had to be a little bit more methodical um with how you're um you know get the combo points attack combo points attack right um and this is a core skill right so it benefits from this and then the basic skills uh, you know have a chance to generate three combo points right off the bat which is great because then you can again just you know pop off that twisting blades really quick so it's that Plus, I had the Shadow Clone, um, which I made the Shadow Clone a little bit stronger here with this imprint. Um, this uh, imbuement. So my Shadow Clone deals an extra 20% because I have it on this two-handed weapon. You will extra 20% uh, damage for five seconds. So very burst, right? In that five-second burst window. Um, I'm not sure what the internal cooldown of that is, but it lasts for five seconds, that extra 20% damage, right? So we have this 38% damage here. We also have attacking enemies with your basic skill increase. Increases the damage of your next core skill by up to 30%. So the idea being stacking the basic hits, getting that extra than 30%, stacking on top of this 38. Uh, that was just for, for health. Uh, where was the other one? Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, where is it? Okay, yep, and then uh, in addition with this one, uh, up to 30% increased damage while I'm standing still, as you kind of see like during that fight. I'm standing still as much as possible for a portion of it, just so I can continue to ramp up the damage. As you see, it goes up to, my attack power goes up to 4600. Normally it's 3500, right? So, uh, pretty significant uh, damage up, right? Uh, and then also, uh, where was the other one? There was another one. No, I guess that's it. So really, again, like the, the big kind of damage coming from, and you can obviously pause at any point during this, because I've, I've moused over everything, but we'll mouse over everything here again. This one was just a survivability, uh, more core damage, uh, more survivability. That, I didn't really have a good boot imprint, but that's what's on there. Uh, more imbuement, shadow clone damage, uh, twisting blades, of course, uh, more damage, or not damage, but uh, generating more energy. Um, so I make sure I have uh, energy regeneration damage while standing still. Uh, of course, this weapon, increasing my core skill damage. And then this one, my imbuement skills have a 32% increased potency against vulnerable enemies. Which I am doing. I have 100%, you know, vulnerability uptime uh, with puncture, right? So always have vulnerability up. So my imbuements are doing more damage. My core skills are doing more damage. My imbuements are buffing uh, the shadow clone, which does 100% of my damage. So it's like two of me attacking, essentially. A um, lot, a lot of damage, right? So that's that's the. Uh, weapons right there um, we also have specialization obviously we've got combo points because you, you basically you need to for that um, and for a paragon board nothing crazy here 
Um, we've just kind of gone up the right hand side here. Gone up, we've gotten Lawless, we've taken Skillful. Uh, in here, uh, we took uh, Glyph of Combat, so more intelligence points. Um, equals 10%, so basically I got an extra 10% uh, critical strike damage with core skills. Again, just kind of everything off of core skills, right? That's kind of a, where the crux of the damage comes uh, for this, this build is core skill damage. So, um, you know, just taking anything and everything I could damage-wise or intelligence-wise, try and increase uh, this, which there's some I probably could have taken. No, I think I got all of them. I think I got all the intelligence ones that are within this uh, circle here. Um, and again, skill tree, I'll just link because I already specced out of the, uh, the skill tree, but I remember what it was, so I... I Built it on Wowhead, uh, and that'll be linked as well. But, uh, yeah. If you got any questions, uh, yeah, let me know. Hit me up. I think this this build could definitely be uh, better optimized. I definitely have... I could have more sacred items. Like, my jewelry could be sacred. My two-hander, uh, you know, in theory, would have more stats. It would be nice to, uh, yeah, replace these, these boots. At some point, um, they're okay, but could be better. Anyway, uh, that's the build. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you guys want to see me uh, play some more Rogue, uh, stop on by the, the uh, Twitch stream. So, later, later. <laughs>